The students here in the SBC conference were learning a little bit about building a team culture, uh, talking about what's really valuable to them, what their values are, um, how, how you work together to build that culture, um, learned about the importance of overcome adversity and, and, and um, the challenges that they go through and what it really takes to, to build that culture. So a lot of it is building trust, so we kind of elaborated on some of those areas. This is a fantastic opportunity for student athletes in the SBC to learn about building a team culture, what it takes to build culture. They're already leaders in a capacity in athletics and now they're taking this, this information and being able to apply it to other parts of their lives and, and hopefully build upon these practices and knowing that culture is so important to successful organizations, successful groups. So they're learning about that and, and they can relate it to the sport context but hopefully go outside of sports and uh, help bring it and, and, and express it and live it throughout their lives. The message I was giving our kids today is not to waste their pain and that they can also use their pain to help other people. Most of these kids here are athletes, so I was talking to them about how they can help other athletes that will help them to improve the culture that they're in, which in turn will help them. And to use the, the trials and tribulations, the valleys that they're going to go through in life, to uh, which are going to be used to help them along the way more so than their successes. They're going to learn more from that than they will from successes. You know, the reason I think they need to hear it is because of the society we live in. It's all about money and fame and fortune. And really, athletics are just a vessel in life that there are some good key components with leadership that are going to help them later in life as far as being a leader of a family or in a business or you know in, in our community. Some of these athletes may be future leaders in our, in our community, our state, our country, um, and, and, and we need that. So it's all about molding them and giving them the tools to be effective leaders. Well, our session, we're talking to the to the student athletes that are here about how to make good decisions, to exercise disciplined leadership skills to take back to their team and move away from situations where there's a lot of blaming, complaining and defending and approaching it with a more productive uh, attitude. Students are grasping the concepts that are in our session. I think they hunger for it. I think, you know, they're not always going to show it outwardly. But inside, you know, on social media and classrooms, there's a lot of pressure from, from classmates and, and other people on the team. And they really do want to know, what do I do when these sort of situations arise? So yes, even while it may not be as open as we'd like it to be, I think they're hungry for it. You know, some of the kids are actually familiar with the skills that we've talked about. And to hear them come up and actually lead it with their peers, I think has been really cool. So we're just happy to be here and we think it's a great program. I know that it's a good program. It's all about leadership and I don't have any doubt at all that it's a message that the kids have to hear. They have brought some of the best leaders in each school here and to get an opportunity to talk to them and try to help make a difference. It's an inspiring uh, deal if you've been a coach or a teacher. And I just like the way that the kids are responding, the way they're listening. They want to develop their leadership skills. I think they feel honored that they've been chosen to be here, and rightfully so. And hopefully they'll take the messages home with them, and it'll make a difference in their school, community, classrooms, whatever.